Blender is considered a very good 3D package for creating 3D animation projects, but is it good for creating 2D animations as well? Unlike other specialized 2D animation software, Blender has a different approach to creating 2D animation projects. In this video, we will see what Blender can offer for people who want to create 2D movies or those who want to use its drawing and animation tools in general. Blender 2D Animation Projects After a few years of working on the Grease Pencil tool, the Blender team decided to showcase the power of 2D animations in Blender 2.8 through a short animated film called Hero. The Blender Institute has released in 2018 this steampunkish 2D animated short created entirely in Blender. It was created using an interesting mixture of 2D and 3D techniques as well as animating the characters using a traditional stroke-based workflow. The team was able to project backgrounds onto spherical environments and to arrange foreground elements on layers in 3D space. Also, the popular Japanese animation studio Kara announced that it will be moving to open-source 3D software Blender for 2D animation purposes. Kara is a motion picture planning and production company and it is currently working on Evangelion 3 a film to be released in June 2020. They switched to Blender because it is open source and because it is free. They were also intrigued by the new 2.8 release which provided them with a 3D creation tool that worked like paper and pencil. In addition to the short film Hero, several animation artists are using the Grease Pencil tool in addition to other Blender tools to work on good looking and smooth animations. The process of 2D animation like 3D animation in Blender, the process of creating 2D animation projects goes through three different stages. First, pre-production, in which we are going to create the story, script, storyboard, and animatics using the Grease Pencil as a primary tool for doing so. The second part is the actual production, in which we create the characters, rig them, create all different types of animations, line art, coloring, visual effects, and drawing the details you need using the Grease Pencil, of course. And when we are done with that, we can render the final result using Blender's render engine called Cycles, or we can use Blender's real-time render engine called Eevee. Finally, when we are done with the majority of the project, we can go to post-production, which is basically all about video editing, transitions, zooming, color correction, mixing the audio, music, and so on. So generally speaking, these are the steps and the processes you need to go through and skipping one of these can affect the 2D animation project negatively in one way or another. The learning curve and difficulty. I would say that learning to create 2D animations in Blender is not harder than creating 3D animations, but of course both require having artistic and technical skills, in addition to spending a few hours every day trying to hone your skills. For now, since 2D animation using Blender is relatively new, there is a shortage when it comes to learning materials. But there are some artists creating YouTube videos and courses about 2D stuff in Blender, which will eventually, a few years from now, generate enough educational material for everyone from tutorials, books, video courses, and so on. Grease Pencil Features the Grease Pencil is a revolutionary tool in Blender that is being used for different purposes other than making 2D animations. The Grease Pencil actually started as a digital version of the real-world Grease Pencil, a quick way for an art director to make notations and make changes on a 3D model or scene, for the artist to refer to it when doing revisions. Today, after a dedicated team of Blender developers and artists worked on it for many years, it is now a full 2D drawing and animation system. And this unprecedented integration of 2D tools in the 3D animation will enable many artists to create next-level concept art, storyboards, and animations for their 2D animation projects. The Grease Pencil objects are native part of Blender, integrating with existing object selection, editing, management, and linking tools. Strokes can be organized into layers and shaded with materials and textures. Besides a draw mode for strokes, these objects can also be edited, sculpted, and weight painted similarly to meshes. Modifiers can be used to deform, generate, and color strokes. Commonly used mesh modifiers such as an array, subdivide, and armature deform have equivalents for strokes. Rendering effects like blur, 
shadows or rim lighting are also available and the grease pencil has a special set of viewport real-time visual effects that can be applied to objects. Why the grease pencil is important the usual process of mixing 2D and 3D animations involves preparing the scene in one software and the 2D one in another. You have to export the images in a file format sequence from one software and import them into the other software. And if you need to make changes, you have to switch between the two programs you are working on. Blender's Grease Pencil allows you to draw directly in the 3D scene, so everything stays in one place. You can either draw on flat planes that represent your canvas and then attach them to an animated object or draw directly on the surface of a complex 3D model. It is possible to do that for the environments in animated scenes which will generate great results. You can model stairs, houses, walls, furniture and the rest of the environments you have and then draw over everything with the grease pencil. The result will look different from a texture made in a 2D program such as Photoshop or other animation software. You can tell by looking at the animation that the pencil strokes are really physically there and not just a JPG texture on flat planes. Also they are animated. All the lines can be animated. So you can draw little things like moving grass blades or poster on a wall that are being moved by the wind. For the animation part, there is also a very cool tool to edit multiple frames at the same time. If you are working on an animation of an object, you can just deform the object in a single frame and the modification will be proportionally applied to the whole timeline, which is a huge energy and time saver. And to create smooth transitions between frames, you can draw the keyframes or main poses in 2D frame by frame and then decide if you should create the in-between images too or use the interpolation tools in Blender. There is an auto interpolation to make the smooth transition between two frames, however auto interpolation produces good results only if you are just making a movement or rotation and small deformation of objects. You can't use it for the whole character that changes its pose. Blender is changing how 2D animators work. 2D animators come to Blender because they want to have the advantages of a 3D program such as Blender. 2D animators have many artistic skills like drawing, anatomy, proportions and so on. Because their skill set is not related to polygons, rigging or anything related to 3D since they generally speaking know how to draw and animate in 2D. When 2D animators start working using 2D tools in Blender such as the grease pencil, they will notice that they have additional 3D tools for modeling, sculpting, and 3D animation at their disposal that can be very helpful in their 2D workflow. And this will motivate them to learn more 3D and integrate it into their work. And this will helpfully help 2D animators appreciate how Blender is giving this industry a very important advantage over the traditional ways of creating 2D animations. The Grease Pencil in VR one of the very important directions the Grease Pencil development is going right now is towards Virtual Reality VR and Extended Reality XR because developers want to take the full advantage of what Blender can offer using the mouse, pen or VR headset in the same environment to be able to have more freedom and create faster. With VR you can sketch in 3D, create rough animations, then start adding details as you make more progress. It's like a 2D animation but in 3D, so basically you can draw in any frame and make changes to any part of the environment or a character. Blender compared to other 2D animation software Even though Blender's primary function as a 3D package is not to create 2D animations, it has great 2D animation tools nonetheless. When we compare it to other 2D animation software in the market like Adobe Animate, Harmony, TV Paint and Open Tunes, we can say that Blender has come a long way in terms of 2D animation, but these 2D animation software have been around for a very long time and they have been used to create amazing projects for anime, web animations, video game animations and so on. So even though Blender is good, it has more room for improvements. But what makes the future bright for Blender is the fact that it has a different approach which involves working in 3D space and using 3D animation tools to speed up the process and create better looking 2D animations. 
most animation studios doing 2D animation that used to produce with Flash or what is known as Adobe Animate switch to other alternatives. More often than not, a combination of tools is used and not just a single one. For example, Futurama was produced with the commercial versions of OpenTools with some IK based cutout character work finished with another software. It also depends on the type of animation. Hand drawn frame by frame is often done with the help of TV Paint and various Japanese studios used open tools in combination with Clip Studio Paint. And Toon Boom rules the west side of 2D animation production like Disney for example. But Blender's 2D and 3D animation combo is making waves here and there in the industry. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.